Hey guys, it's me Delta One here with God's Airsofters and today I have a review for you brought to you by RaptorsAirsoft.com. There's links in the description where you can buy this somewhere else at Major9Labs.com. Um, and today I'm going to be giving you a review and then a secondary video for shooting these. This is the SHS grenade shells. These are their metal ones. They have polymer ones as well. And these are relatively affordable as supposed to a Mad Bull. So here is the 60 rounder, 80 rounder, 120 rounder. So this is two of these. Letting you know. So you've got your metal shells. They're very nice, got a hefty weight to them. They don't feel cheap at all. I would tell you you could probably drop one of these things, it'd be fine. Not that I'm recommending that, so don't do that. So what makes these different from all the other grenade shells? If you've ever had a grenade launcher, you'll shoot it and then you'll have to reset this. This is a self-resetting mechanism in here, which is kind of nice because I always found it a pain in the butt. Every time you shot it, you had to reset it and it involved you either breaking your pinky nail, shoving your pinky in this hole, trying to get it to reset, or it involved you having to go get a tool to push it in there or something like that. So these are different. They're very affordable. Um, they're pretty unique and they're patented. It's a patented design, the self-resetting system. To disassemble them, you do, you just twist. It's like opening up a very long bottle cap. Now, I have to be very careful when I do this because I know for a fact they've got ball bearings hidden in here somewhere. And they don't really as well. But as you can see, that's the, in, the inside of it. That's how this thing works. Now, I put this back together before anything decides to fly apart. So, these did work in my GMP grenade launcher and my ICS grenade launcher. So, that's a bonus. So, for compatibility test, I'm giving it a thumbs up. Um, now, this, these work with the the more high pressure you put into a grenade shell, the better off you are. I'm going to do some testing on these and see if these can accept CO2 without exploding in my face. Um, but I'm pretty sure they're going to work better with CO2. But I did fire this just recently, and it was a lot louder than my ICS shell right here. So that's kind of a bonus. So I kind of like that loud intimidating factor. Plus, if you just came around the corner and you had like six of these things in a, gren in a grenade launcher, oh fantastic so they accept green gas propane you know just basic maintenance use silicone oil make sure they're lubricated you know one of the things I didn't like though is that normally how I, I load my grenade launcher I put it into a big bucket and I just go like this and force BBs in it the seal out here is so good you can't do that <laughs> which is not necessarily bad it just makes the loading the thing take forever as opposed to my ICS where if you just look at it it's just flat and you just go so I mean that's that was my biggest gripe but it's not really a gripe it's more of just something that's like but other than that um, the grenade shells are fairly affordable as opposed to your mainstream grenade shells and they're pretty good quality from my experiences of having them so far so guys big thanks to Raptors Make sure you check out Major9Labs.com and my Facebook and my second YouTube channel and my forum. All those links are in the description. I want to give again big thanks to Raptors for sending me these products. And guys, I will see you in the next video. And life is good.